Good morning and welcome to another live in Pakistan. We should be coming up live here in a minute. Here we are. Good morning, True Grace Church, Pakistan. How are you, Pastor Kashif? Yeah, I'm good. You're good? Yeah, praise the Lord. Do we have lights? Yeah, definitely. Okay. How's everybody doing? Good? Uh, We're all happy? Yes, happy. <laughs> I am... Uh, excited to be here. Uh, the, the enemy tried to take me out. I was diagnosed with pneumonia about two hours ago. So, um, if I... If I slow down a little bit, it's because I'm receiving my healing. Okay? Let me let me get get me up on live stream here. Did we have to use the generator? No, actually still light. Ah, yeah, yeah. good, 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 good. Okay. <clears throat> you're you're going to see that I'm going to talk about authority and power a lot. The only reason people came to Jesus is because he had power. So if we're a church and we don't operate in power, we're no different than anybody else, are we? <clears throat> so we need to learn to walk in power. Amen? <clears throat> so in the book of Matthew, chapter 7, <clears throat> go ahead and read it, Kashif, please. Okay. Matthew 7 verses 28 and 29 When Yesu has finished these things so in one little scripture we see a parallel between Jesus and the scribes. The scribes were the legal experts for the Old Testament. But they had no power. 
So when Jesus spoke, he spoke as one with authority. So that word authority has many meanings. Power of choice. Liberty of doing as one pleases. <clears throat> Physical or mental power. The ability or the strength. Which one either possesses or exercises. <clears throat> the power of authority. <clears throat> the power of influence and the right of privilege. The power or rule of government. And we're going to find out Jesus had all that authority. In Matthew 10, verse 1, if you could read that. Now these were not this, these were not the apostles they were just disciples so he gave them power before they had their authority as an apostle an unclean spirit <clears throat> is any spirit that's against God. We have authority to cast them out. He then said, heal every disease and every sickness disease would be something wrong in your organs your heart, your liver, your lungs your eyes, your, your ears the second word sickness would be you couldn't walk your hands didn't work, or you're weak in your muscles. <clears throat> so he gave them authority over all those things. Now that same story in Mark chapter 3 verse 13 through 15 
اور اس کی تیرہویں اور پندرہویں آیت میں اس کو دیکھتے ہیں پھر وہ پہاڑ پر چڑھ گیا اور جن کو وہ آپ چاہتا تھا ان کو پاس بلایا اور وہ اس کے پاس چلے آئے اور اس نے بارہ کو مقرر کیا تاکہ اس کے ساتھ رہے اور وہ ان کو بھیجے کے منادی کے پندرہویں آیت اور بدوہوں کو نکالنے کا اختیار رکھے ہامی So here he uses the word appointed. He ch- so that's when he chose the twelve. But they also had authority to preach. And cast out demons. So if you're a minister and, and you haven't been anointed by God, you're gonna you're gonna operate with no power. If you have not been anointed by God, you will operate with no power. It is so important that we only walk in these different offices if God has called us. Matthew 28 verses 18 and 19 Matthew 28 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 18 and 19 کشیف ورڈ ریڈ ورس ٹوینٹی آلسو پلیز ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی سو ایٹین نائنٹین اینڈ ٹوینٹی سو جیزس جس سیڈ آل اتھارٹی ان ہیون اینڈ ارتھ از ناؤ بین گیون ٹو ہیم یسو مسیح نے کہا آسمان کا اختیار اور زمین کا اختیار مجھے دیا گیا ہے And because of that, he tells the apostles, go out and make disciples of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. But what baptism? John's baptism or Jesus' baptism? John baptized in water. Jesus will baptize you in fire and the Holy Spirit. We must be baptizing people into the Holy Spirit. He then says to the apostles, Teach them everything that I have taught you. And never forget that I will be with you every day. 
और ये नहीं भूलना कि मैं हर एक दिन आपके साथ हूं सो इफ यू आर बोर्न अगेन वेयर डज जीसस लिव अगर आप मसीह में नई पैदाइश का तजुर्बा रखते हैं तो आप वही हैं जहां यीशु मसीह है He's in you. वो आपके अंदर है. So he's always with you. और वो आपके साथ हमेशा. So you're not praying up into the sky or far away. He's right here inside of you. याद रखिए आपको यहाँ वहाँ दुआ नहीं करनी. आप के अंदर कुदामंद रहता है, यीशु मसीह रहता है. आपको simply दुआ करनी है. Go ahead and go to Luke 10 verse 19 please. Luka 10th bab uski 19th ayat. Ah dekho maine tumko ikhtiyar diya ke saanpon aur bichhuon ko kuchlo aur dushman ki sari qudrat par ghalib aao aur tumko hargiz kisi cheez se <coughs> so what are snakes and scorpions? Those are demons. So you have authority to walk on them. You have power over all of the enemy. But to access that power, I must understand who I am in Christ. Now this is how easy it is. John fourteen twelve. Johanna Choda Chodma Barkurski Atarmi Ayat. Me Tumhe Yatim Nat Shorunga Matum Hare Pas Aunga Hori Baki has the Dunya Mujapirna Dekhegi Magatumuja Dekte Hoge Jita Rahoge Sorry sorry Barmi and Pani. ओके मैं तुमसे सच कहता हूं कि जो मुझ पर ईमान रखता है यह काम जो मैं करता हूं वो भी करेगा बल्कि इनसे भी बड़े काम करेगा क्योंकि मैं बाप के पास जाता हूं आमीन सो हाउ डू आई क्वालिफाई टू वॉक इन दीस वर्क्स कैसे मैं खुदावंत के कामों में जो खुदा करता रहा है उसके मुताबिक काम कर सकता हूं I have to believe in Jesus. <clears throat> If I spend all my time trying to be worthy, I will never walk in power. In Christ you are perfect. Yesu Masi me aap kaam hai. Even though you still make mistakes. Pata ki aap usme rehkar kuch galtiyan bhi karte hain. Jesus gave us a garment of salvation. Yaad rakhiye Yesu Masi ne hame najat ka libaas diya hai. He gave us a robe of righteousness so the robe covers us so when we walk out life we're covered with his righteousness and so the father never sees any mistakes amen जब हम उसकी निजात के कॉल के अंदर 
اس کی راست بازی میں کور ہیں تو بات کیا ہے وہ ہماری کمزوریوں کو نہیں دیکھتا Now, does that mean I just want to go do whatever I want to do? Does that mean I just go do anything? No, the Bible says, in all that you do, be led by the Spirit. <clears throat> Amen? Yes, I mean... Okay, Acts chapter 1, verse 7 and 8. 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 روحل قدس یہ لفظ ہے تم پر نازل ہوگا تو تم قوت پاؤ گے اور یروشلم اور تمام یہودیا اور سمریا میں بلکہ زمین کی انتہا تک میرے گواہ ہوگے سو دی اپاسلس ور آسکنگ جیزس وین ول یو کم بیک اور یہاں پر جو رسول ہیں وہ یسو سے پوچھ رہے ہیں There is a big teaching in the church that Jesus could come back any day. That's not true. He's, he's coming back for a church that is beautiful and powerful. And is ruling on the earth. <clears throat> so we have lots of time before Jesus is coming back. So how do we receive our power? When the Holy Spirit comes on us. And then everything we do will be a testimony to those around us of the power of God. Amen. Amen. Kashif, yes. have you uh, prayed for anybody uh, to receive the Holy Spirit? Uh, have you no have you have you actually prayed for somebody to receive the Holy Spirit good morning Oh, Happy New Year! You pray for her, for the Holy Spirit, she may receive. Okay. Yes. Okay. The Holy Spirit comes on by the laying on of hands. So, Mr. So, Pastor Kashif, you're going to just put your hand on her head. And you are going to say, in the name of Jesus, I release the Spirit of God into you in power, in Jesus' name.
Now it's not always a feeling. We, because it's spiritual and not physical. So the next thing is praying in tongues. It's a private thing. Praying in, praying in tongues builds you up. So, if I'm in my house by myself, I would just pray in tongues. And you have complete control of that. Anybody else need prayer for anything? You guys are all dressed like it's cold. Yes, yes. Outside, very cold. That's why our people are coming slowly. <laughs> yes. Good morning. Good morning, sister. Yeah, pray, pray for her. For Holy Spirit or something else? What is yes. she? For, uh, for the Holy Spirit, that Holy Spirit may uh, feel more to. You know, you know, one of the when when we get filled with the Holy Spirit, we're full, but we can grow in the power. Father. <laughs> <clears throat> Father, I, I lift up my sister to you and I just release a fresh anointing upon her to be everything that you have called her to be that you would touch every aspect of her life that your favor and your grace would be upon her and everywhere she goes and everything she touched would the favor and the power of God would be on her in Jesus name Amen God bless you God bless you Good morning. Good morning, sis. Yes, uh, she wants she wants also pray for the Holy Spirit that Holy Spirit fill her more and his power work in her life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just release fresh anointing. And I, and I declare that the eyes of her understanding would be open. <clears throat> that she would grow in the revelation of who she is and who you are. Father, I know that she has desires in her heart for things 
things even of, in ministry. And so, Lord, we just release those to her. And we ask you to teach her and grow her up to be everything you've called her to be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. You know, the, the first step to receiving is just believing. Expect it because he wants to give it to you, not because you felt something. Amen. God bless you. Good morning, my brother. The chief, all I see is his belly, his tummy. <laughs> Oh, there he goes. Look at him. He's a good-looking young man. How can I pray for you, sir? Holy Spirit. <coughs> Kashif, I just want you to um, put your hand on him. Yes. And just repeat. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just release your beautiful spirit into my brother to fill him up, to anoint him, to empower him, to bring revelation of who he is, how much he's loved, how righteous he is, and reveal to him the plans that you have for him here in Pakistan. And Father, we just bless him and we just declare that wherever he goes, the goodness of God goes before him and that he would be a mighty witness to his family and friends and colleagues uh, here in Pakistan. We bless him in Jesus' mighty name. You know, you get up every day and the first thing you do is you say, Lord, what do you want me to do? Because we always have everything that we need to do, right? But before you walk out the door, say, Lord, what is it you want me to do today? <coughs> Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Anybody else? Good morning. Yes, the sister and her children, no interest for education, and the sister has some problem, like uh, she like uh, in trouble. And she doesn't know what should I do. And what I felt that some uh, demons or uh, some, like uh, witchcraft are uh, going on against her. So you please pray for her. So for who's who's having the problem in school? Both of them or the boy? Yes, yes, yes. Both of them? Yes, both. 
They're no interested for education. Okay. I want you to talk to the young man. Okay. The father says, I will train you. And I will teach you. And you will have a blessed life. But the devil is at your door. And he wants to destroy you. You must resist the anger, the anger, and the rejection that you feel. God says, I don't reject you. I made you wonderful. And I have a great plan for you. Choose wisely in the days to come. Young lady. Young lady. What's her name? Uh, Sultana. Sultana. Mom, you, mom, you need. You're gonna need to learn to pray over your children. Okay. You need to renounce all the plans of the enemy in the house, all the lying spirits that are telling your children that they have been abandoned or they're orphan, because that is what they hear from the enemy. You speak over them that they are loved. So you pray over them that they are loved, they are accepted, and there's a Father in heaven who has great plans for them. So you have to be, you have to come against the plans of the enemy, because he's he will be speaking to them at night. Does that make sense, Mom? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, mom, put your hands on your two children. Both of them. Kashif, translate. Yes. In the name of Jesus, I have beautiful children who feel loved and accepted, who have great purpose and are going to have a great relationship with their Heavenly Father. I declare no weapon formed against them shall prosper. I curse every plan of the enemy against my children. Then that they will bear no fruit in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hey, young man. Yes. Don't make me fly to Pakistan. Yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll come knock on your door. You've been giving mom a bad time. I'm big. No, I'm just kidding. You're a good man. You're a you're you're a very blessed young man. 
And you're going to have a good life. Amen? God bless you guys. But I still might come to Pakistan. <laughs> yes. God bless you. <clears throat> okay, Good. <coughs> Who's on the front row laughing? Pink jacket. Pink jacket. Yeah. Who's that? Who do you belong to? She's knees. Who do you belong to? She's Aju. Are your parents here? Yes. Who's where, who's mom? Where's your mom at? Aju. <clears throat> Good morning, my sister. This little one has a spirit of joy upon her and a tender heart. A tender heart to the things of God. Yes. And God is anointing her to do great things in the kingdom. And mom, it's your res it's your responsibility to make sure that she understands the word and that she grows up in the church environment and that she gets a good understanding of who she is. Is she a good kid? Okay. God bless you. God's God's just got his hand on you. Okay? Okay. God bless you guys. Bless you, Anybody up else, Mr. Kashif? Are we all good? Okay. But one minute, please. One minute. Okay. So uh, this is Brother Nadi. Yes. And he has a stomach ulcer. He does or the baby does? No, no, no. Uh, Brother Nadi, young man. Oh. Okay. Dad, Dad does. Yes. Dad. Dad for baby, not for us. Okay. So dad has a stomach ulcer. Yes. Okay. You know, God God never wanted us to carry all kinds of weight and stress. And when we put too much pressure on ourselves, it'll make us sick. So we're gonna we're gonna take care of that tummy right now, okay? Right. I want him to renounce stomach ulcer. Okay. Him, him say it. Yes. I need him to say it out loud. Okay. आपने कहना है कि कुरान में सारे stomach ulcer को Okay, in Jesus' name I detach that from him. 
And any demonic spirits tied to that stomach ulcer, I'm going to command them to leave at the count of three. One, two, three, out in Jesus' name. And I release the fire of God to burn out all the residue of the enemy. And I release this healing anointing into his stomach to heal all the stomach walls and he will be in no more pain from this day forward. Amen. 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 Tell dad his job is just to keep believing. Okay. I didn't hear what you said. Nobody's sick more. Nobody's sick? There are nobody's sick. Everybody's healthy. Amen. <clears throat> Father, I just release your favor and your grace over this beautiful church in Pakistan. I release your anointing over Pastor Kashif and this body of Christ, that they would be blessed coming, blessed going, that everything they set their hand to would be blessed and that they would be a testimony of the goodness of God in their city, in their community, and in their family. We bless them now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 God bless you guys. See you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye. God bless you. I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow, Mr. Kashif. Okay, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Um, I was, uh, you know, anointed by God. It was a little bit of a, a struggle. Um, it's always a challenge when we're doing the translating, but the people are growing. And the messages will probably become a little more deeper. Anyway, thank you for supporting Thank you for praying. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed time, and we will see all of you guys tomorrow at 9 o'clock.